Hello friends, welcome again to another video. Before we move on, I would like to take this time to thank everyone who have subscribed to our channel. Thank you very much. Now let's move on to today's video. In today's video, we're going to look at some of the new things that are in Olive 0.2. So to begin, the new thing that we all know about is the node editor here. And to create a new sequence, right click new and sequence. In the new sequence pop-up window here, in the 4K, you can see that you have different frame rate that you can choose according to your video's frame rate. So in Olive 0.1, when we create a new sequence, sequence and in the sequence pop-up window here, you can see the preset. When you select that, you can see they have 4K here, but does not give you the frame rate. So again, in Olive 0.2, you can choose the different frame rate in 4K resolution. Also, let's click OK. So another thing that is new is when you click OK, you're creating a sequence just the same in Olive 0.1. When you click OK, you're also creating a sequence. But in Olive 0.1, you don't have the track name, which is Video 1 and Audio 1, like in Olive 0.2. So here in Olive 0.2, you have the Video 1 track and the Audio 1 track, which is something new there. Again, in the Add tool here, you can see that the tools that need to be added onto the clip are very neat. And in the solid itself, in the previous 0.1, you have solid color, but now just only changed to solid. The third thing that I'd like to talk about is the timestamp here on the timeline. When you click here, you can change from drop frame, non-drop frame, seconds, frames, and milliseconds. So I'd like to go with the frame, so you can see it gives definite frames here, 30, it's by 30, 60, 90, 120. So if you want to move to, for example, from zero, you want to move to 10 frames, you can just simply click this edible tab here and type in 10 to move the marker 10 frame up. So that's something new in Olive 0.2. Another thing that is new in Olive 0.2 is the safe area or the safe margin. Well, in Olive 0.1, we do have safe margin, but to get that safe margin, you need to go to view and select the title action safe area and click on default so you can have this safe margin but in olive 0.2 when you come to view you cannot see the option or the menu of safe margin so it has been changed to the sequence viewer here so in the sequence viewer when you right click select safe margin which is here and click on and you have the safe margin on to the sequence viewer so those are some of the things that I think it's a little bit new or change of location like the safe margin here. And the biggest thing is the node editor. So in the node editor, there's nothing right now. So to get the nodes that are attached to this video one and audio one track, you simply just right click, go to filter and so on. So you have this track here. To move this track around in the node editor window, hold down the middle mouse button and just simply drag the nodes to whatever position you want on inside the node editor window. You can hold down control and the mouse wheel button to move in and out, zoom in and zoom out. Now let's try adding a solid clip onto the timeline. So let's go to the add tool here, selecting the solid clip and click and drag it on the timeline. And when we do that, you can see that automatically it's added two solid nodes to it. This solid node here corresponds to the solid node on the clip. And this solid node here is the solid node corresponding to the color of the solid itself. So that's all some of the things that I think are a little bit new too and some are just change of location. And again, thank you for your time. Thank you for watching this video and hope you have learned something from this video. And thank you everyone and see you all in the next one.